Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's ClickFunnels 2.0 tutorial, I will show you how to set up everything you need to run an evergreen webinar in ClickFunnels 2.0. So we are going to cover how to create a recurring event for your webinar, restrict access to the offer you are making during the webinar after a specific deadline, and how to add scarcity using countdown timers on your funnel pages and in your email follow-ups. Now, it may sound complicated, but in fact, it's quite easy to set up because ClickFunnels 2.0 has all the features that we will need and we don't have to come up with some complex solution involving third-party integrations. Two things before we get started. First, if you haven't done it yet, like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on our future videos. And second, if you don't have your ClickFunnels 2.0 account yet, you can find a link to start your free trial in the description of this video. And if you use our link, you will also receive our ClickFunnels 2.0 course as a bonus. If you're already using ClickFunnels 2.0, in the description you will also find links to the package deals that will help you to save a nice amount on your subscription. Alright, now let's get started and create a countdown event for our webinar and also define how our countdown timer will look like. To do that, go to the marketing section and countdown events. Click create countdown event. Give your event a name. In the event type select recurring, we want our webinar to be evergreen and repeat automatically. Then select how often your webinar should run. And in this section you can define if you want to let people register for your event once again after a specific amount of time, let's say after 30 days. After that click create countdown event. Now the event for our webinar is ready and we go to the countdown timers section and click Create Countdown Timer. You may be wondering what's the difference between a countdown event and a countdown timer. Event has all the information about the event that we are going to run, about our webinar, how often we want it to repeat. And a countdown timer only defines a look of the timer for our event and it tells us how our countdown timer will look like for example, in email sequence, if we decide to embed this timer in our email follow-ups. Give your timer a name and select the template that you like. After that, create the countdown timer. Optionally, you can adjust the look of the countdown timer by going through the sections here. With that done, we are ready to go to the next step and that would be to connect everything to our webinar funnel and also add some elements to the funnel pages. The first thing that we are going to do on our funnel is to add a timer to our squeeze page. That's the page where contacts can register for your webinar. Go to this page and open the page editor. I already have a countdown element, but if you don't have it on your page, click add element and search for countdown. Once you have it on your page, go to the settings. In the timer type, select evergreen. We want our timer reset every five minutes, so we have our webinar running constantly. That's why we select on page load and we can choose five minutes here. So whenever I go to this page and I load this page, the timer will start counting down from five minutes. Save the changes and go back to the funnel. Next, we need to add our webinar event that we have just created in the previous step to this page. To do that, click on this icon with three dots, click Manage Events, select our calendar event, and we want to register visitors when they submit their contact information on this page. Click Attach. With that, we connected our evergreen webinar event to this funnel and to this specific page. Now you may see that a few icons appeared here. First tells us that we connected the evergreen webinar event. That's all right. And next we have this warning that the event that we attached to this page is not set to display. But that's all right. We don't want to connect the timer on this page to our calendar event. We want to build an evergreen webinar. That's why we want the timer on this page countdown from five minutes on every page load. 
Next, if you're running an evergreen webinar, I assume that during the presentation you're going to make some kind of offer. And that's logical that in your webinar funnel you will have an order page for this offer. And to ensure that the participants of your webinar will be able to grab this offer only during a specific amount of time and after that they will not be able to buy this offer from this page, we also need to add our webinar event to this funnel page. So go to your order form in the funnel, click the icon with three dots, click Manage Events, select our evergreen webinar event. In this dropdown we can select what happens to people who see this page, somehow they got the link to this page, but they were not registered to our webinar. I would say we want to redirect them to this quiz page, so to the page where they can actually register for the webinar. That's why we select redirect to specific URL here, and down there you can select the page where you want the people to go. And in this dropdown you can select what happens to people past the deadline of our event, and you can for example also redirect them to the quiz page or to any other page that you would like. I will select a squeeze page here as well. After that, click Attach. What we're going to do next is to add the timer to our order form. And this timer, unlike the timer on the squeeze page, will actually count to our webinar event. I call it the webinar event timer, but I think that's not quite correct. It would be like webinar offer timer, because that's the timer that will renew every seven days and it starts counting when somebody registers for your webinar and it stops when we want to close access to this offer that we are selling on the order form. That's why it makes sense to add the timer here, because it will add some scarcity. So for example, they only have three days left to purchase this offer or two days left, depending on when they go to this page. And after the timer expires, they really will not be able to access this offer and to access this page. So we need to add a new element if you don't have a countdown element on your order form yet. And this time we actually need to connect our timer to the calendar event. And that's all you need to do. This timer already knows to which event it will need to count and it will update automatically. Save the changes here and go back to the funnel. With that we have our webinar event connected to this quiz page where we're collecting the contact information and register people for the webinar and also to the order form where they will be able to purchase the offer they see during the webinar and we also added some scarcity using the countdown timer that counts to the time when the cart for this offer will be closed. The last thing that we need to do is to connect this funnel and also our webinar event to the automation in ClickFunnels 2.0. Because when somebody registers for your webinar and after you present them the offer during the webinar, you definitely want to send them follow-up emails. And another cool thing is that you can also use the countdown timer that we created at the beginning to add some scarcity to your emails because we will be able to embed this timer in the email follow-ups. So first we need to connect the automation to this funnel to let ClickFunnels know that when somebody registers for the webinar on this page, they need to be added to the automation. And after that, I will show you how you can add a countdown timer to your email follow-ups. To attach an automation to the funnel, click on this icon. If you already have an automation created, you can select it from the list here. If not, click new workflow. And if you don't know how to create a workflow or an email sequence in ClickFunnels 2.0, you can check out the video by clicking on the card here. I will select the sequence that I have here for the webinar offer. And now we need to select the trigger for this workflow. It's important, please select calendar event, contact registered. This way ClickFunnels will know that whenever somebody registers on this page, they should be added to the automation. Click attach workflow. And last but not least, you may embed the countdown timer that will count down to the cart closure to the event that we created in your email follow-ups. To do that, go to the marketing section, countdown events, click on the name of the webinar, scroll to the email embedding section and copy this code snippet. Then you can go to the workflow that includes your email follow-ups. 
By the way, if you use the AI Funnel Builder from ClickFunnels to build your webinar funnel for you, you will also receive a high converting email follow-up sequence for your webinar that you can easily add to your account. So this way you wouldn't need to write your email follow-ups from scratch and you can just use the proven converting templates for your emails and adjust them to your needs. Now let's say I would like to add the countdown timer to this email. I would click on the name of the email, click Edit Template. As you can see, you already have a great follow-up with a good sales copy written for you, and you would only need to change the text in the brackets. It also shows you where to add your countdown timer, but let me show you how you do it from scratch. Let's say you would want to add the countdown timer here. You would go to the content section and select the HTML element, drag it to the editor section, click on the element to open the editor and delete the text that you have here. And then paste the code snippet that we copied. After that, click publish to save the changes. You will not see the countdown timer on the preview here and it's perfectly fine. It doesn't mean that something is not working. Whenever somebody registers for your webinar on this quiz page to which we attached this workflow, they will be added to this workflow, they will receive this email follow-up and they actually will see the timer. With that, our setup for the Evergreen webinar is ready. As you have just seen, it's quite seamless in ClickFunnels 2.0 and you can get it done in no time just by following the steps in this video. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on our future content. And I will see you in the future videos. Bye-bye.